Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for subscribing. In this video, we will learn that how we can turn on the flow that was turned off automatically because they were not getting triggered regularly and why that is happening. So if you know there is an expiration limit on the power automate flow. So if you have a flow that is not getting triggered for last 90 days, Power Automate is going to automatically turn that off. This limitation is good, but sometimes what happen, we have some requirement where by functionality, the flow is not gonna trigger for 90 days. For an example, you are creating a flow on a list that is getting updated by the end users, but the activity on that list only happen quarterly. So your flow get triggered every quarter and then nothing happen. In those scenario, these flow also going to be turned off because of this limitation. So how we can overcome that limitation for the flow that we have made in a way that they are going to trigger after 90 days. So I have a quick solution for these kind of scenario. So we're gonna start without wasting any more minute and I'm logging into flow.microsoft.com. Okay, I'll start creating a new flow. You need to create a scheduled flow for that. So start that template. Okay, give a name and I want this flow to run every day. Okay, the requirement we know. So we need a flow that can go and check every flow that we have, find out which all flow are turned off and then turn them on. But hold on, that's not really what we want. We want to turn on the flow those are actually really needs to be turned on we don't want every flow that we have created getting turned on so this is a one recommendation that i have do not apply this on every flow okay so search for the power automate management connector okay select that in this we have a lot of actions these are the action that can be used to manage the flow like creating a flow dynamically deleting a flow what we are more interested is to find out the flow that we need to turn on there's two actions that we can use we can list flow as an admin and list my flow if you are an admin and if you want to create this flow for the entire admin then you can go ahead and select the list flow as admin but if you're not an admin, and if you just want to maintain your own flow that you have created, you can select list my flow, and we are going to select that one. The actual functionality and methods after that is not gonna change. It just depends on what is your role. You select the right action, whether you are creating for entire environment or you are just creating for yourself. This action required only one thing is the environment in which you are creating. So I'm gonna create in my default environment. You can select your own environment which you are creating this flow for. Okay, I'm gonna just save it and run it. So I'll show you that what is the response that we get from this action. Okay, so flow successfully completed. And if I look at the response. Okay, so this is how the response came back from that action. And if you notice here, it has all the information. It has the display name, the type, state. Remember this part because this is what we're going to use. The state will tell us where the, whether the current flow is started, it's suspended, or stopped. Okay. And then we have the display name. This will give us the name of the flow, the display name. And then actual name is actually ID of the flow, the unique identifier. So for every flow that you have, you will receive this information, okay? The information that we are interested right now, state, name, and the display name. Now the next step, as I said earlier, we don't want to get every flow and start turning on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the filter action. So filter array, array is the response that I'm getting from this previous action select the value okay and then in this value the column what we're gonna see we're gonna say the flow state equal to 
stopped okay and how I know if I go back to my response and search for the stopped you see here right I'm getting state stopped for few flow right so these are the flow that got stopped or turned off so now what I'm saying filter the response that I'm getting and give me only the flow those are in stopped stage let's test again Okay, so flow completed and now if you notice, I got a filtered array and these are the only flow those are stopped. Okay, so this filter array giving me all the flow, those are in stopped stage. But it's not necessary that I want all of them to be turned on again. I only want to turn on the flow, those are really right now in use in the production or in my environment. So how I can distinguish recommendation from my side that I generally use. When you deploy your flow to the production from your development environment, make sure that you give that flow some unique name identifier. Like for example, in this one, I'm adding prod. So the flow name underscore prod. So I know this is my production flow that needs to be active all the time. But right now it is turned off because no activity happened and the reason this flow only needs to be triggered every quarter right so you have to find it not necessary that you need to give the name like identifier as a prod you need to find out the unique identifier for your production environment give that name so when you are in your this flow that you are creating to automatically turn on you can further filter this array for only those flow those actually needs to be turned on okay now if you know the filter array only take one expression in basic mode so i need to change this to advanced mode so click on the advanced mode this is your current expression we are going to change it it always start with at the rate so do not remove that and there is only one at the rate required and actually let me do it in here so you can easily read that so this is the expression right now at the rate equals this is your column name and the value so i'm going to add another function called and so what i'm saying and this result of this value and then, I, then i'm going to say comma comma and the next expression i'm going to use is called contains so what i'm saying if the display name if the display name contains the prod, this is my unique identifier that I prefer to add to all of my production flow. You can have another one, just replace this one. So if it is stopped and also the display name contains your unique identifier, then filter that array for this expression. Control C, go back to your flow and I'm gonna replace this one. Okay, save everything looks good now if I'm gonna test it again I should have only one flow that is in this stage because I have only one flow that I am I mentioned that that is the production flow and if you see here I am receiving only one result now in your case there may be more than one because you may have more than one flow those are in production and for some reason they got turned off next step is very straightforward Again, you need to search for flow management connector and the action is turn on flow. You need to select the environment and the flow. So you don't need to select the flow from the list. Instead, you need to enter the custom value and the flow name. Remember, the flow name is the actual identifier of this flow. And as you notice, there is a loop because there may be possibly more than one flow that you get. And remember one more thing, this flow name should come from this filter array, not from the list my flow. Okay, let me quickly go here. So as you notice, this flow is turned off. Click save. Okay, so I have another optional step that you can add. It is, very, it is more important if you're going to use the list my flow as an admin. So what you can do, you can add an action here. That is Office 365 users. 
and I'm going to use get user profile and here I'm going to pass from the filter array creator user ID so what I'm trying to do here from this creator user ID I'm trying to get the profile as an admin and then I'm going to use send email okay and then uh, from here I'm going to send an email to the creator that your flow has been successfully turned on. If you're creating this flow for yourself, you may not need this because you know you have a flow and you are running. But still, if you want, you can create this notification for yourself. But if you're creating this as an admin, all the creator, if you read this detail here for the limitation, they may have received an email saying that your flow has been turned off or getting turned off please take action so what we are doing because they are receiving an email for turning off the flow we are sending that email that your flow is turned on so no action required okay I'm gonna save it okay so flow got completed successfully and if you notice here it is getting my profile I may have received an email as well now if I go to my flow here and refresh my flow should be turned on and as you can see here the flow is started and I'm good to go so this was a simple approach it's very helpful because I personally have this scenario a few days back and I realized that we, I definitely need this flow thank you very much thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and keep learning